to sleep no more. Leaving behind all trouble and sorrow, bound for that city built on high. When I wake up, when I wake up to sleep no more. When I wake up, on a glad morning, to sleep no more. Jewels adorned, and it I'll be over in glory. Heaven's bright, tell us story with the reading of all the ages, praising the one who. Swiftly fading, it was drifting with the tide. Then a hand from out of nowhere, it gently slipped in mine, and I thank God He found me just in time. It was just before. His friend, I sure had mine, but I thank God he found me just in time. It was just before the waves of slumber had rocked my soul to sleep.
Listening to the very best of Southern Gospel music right here on WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener funded ministry. We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube Monday through Sunday 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Come and join with us. And folks, we're glad to be here tonight and appreciate all you tuning us in. And we want to share a little bit of news for you. Murray Burke will be our call-in guest tonight here about 8.30. She'll be calling in. We'll be putting her on the air. And she'll be sharing some news about her and David. And we appreciate that. And we appreciate our guest that we got coming on Friday night. And that's Rita Broiling. Bro, Rita Bro, over in North Carolina. She will be her guest Friday night. Monday night is Ricky Luster, formerly of, uh, uh, I forgot the name of that group again. Charles Johnson. Charles Johnson Revivers. He, he used to be with them. But now he's a great soloist. And he not only a soloist, man, he can play that keyboard, that piano too. And we appreciate him, and he will be on our guest for Monday night. But, folks, we're glad to be here. And I know a lot of you might be confused. We are blocked in most everything except one page. Alan Bruce Presley not blocked yet, but it could get blocked. We are blocked on Alan Presley promotional page. That's my business page. And we are, Linda made a new page out that we love Southern Gospel music, and we post videos. And stuff like that over there. They blocked me on that. I've been blocked on all group pages. And just one page all I got left is Alan Bruce Presley. A lot of it's going to depend on you sharing a program. And they may block me from Alan Bruce Presley. And I'm not the only yeah. one they are doing that. They're doing a lot of people that way. A lot of people. I couldn't send it to Alan Presley Promotions. You can, I know you can't call it. We blocked. Well, you just got through saying. 
and uh, and we blocked on everything but Alan Bruce Presley, and we're going to have to depend on you a lot. But the, we're not the only ones getting blocked. There's a lot of people a whole, across this the whole United States is getting blocked by Facebook, and they are blocking us. But, folks, we, we are on the Roku television. It's W-O-T-G, Television Network. We are on that. We're on YouTube. And, folks, uh, we are live on the television, and they can't touch that television. There's no... You, uh, you, need, if you, you might wonder how can I get on the uh, Roku television. Linda, you want to tell them? Uh, you uh, uh, go to Roku. Uh, if you got a stream, uh, media player, go to Roku. Type in WOTG TV West, and uh, it'll bring it up. And it, you won't see nothing until we come on at eight o'clock. And then, then it'll it'll bring it up. And also, uh, tell it, them what they had to do to get that. I just got through telling them. And then on the YouTube, uh, if we have to go there, uh, we're already putting them on YouTube. But if anything ever happens uh, that we get kicked off of Facebook. All you have to do is go to uh, 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 YouTube, type in Alan uh, Presley Promotions, right? Or Alan Bruce Presley, one of those. Subscribe to, uh, to our page, and you will be uh, able to get all the videos that we put on YouTube. And we are not live on the YouTube. Uh, our program comes later, but we're live on the television. And folks, if you uh, if you uh, you say, "Well, I have to have a new, brand new television," no, you can go down to Walmart's and buy you a box. It used to be about twenty dollars, probably thirty or forty now. And if you already have a Roku box, all you have to do is connect it to your computer. I don't know how. You'll have to figure that out. Uh, I did read that uh, you hook it to the uh, uh, the uh, box. Uh, I don't know what kind of box that is, Alan. Do you? Uh, the uh, I can't even think right now. But anyway, it's a box that uh, that you hook your computer to uh, to get internet. So. Y'all can figure that out, what I'm talking about. And uh, you can find us there on the television, and there's a possibility they're going to get rid of a lot of us. It's a coming, folks. And and we, we're just trying to warn you, Facebook is not all up for having religious stuff on the program. And like I said, I've been blocked just from about everything. And uh, they, they, and they, and, and they are... Uh, determined that uh, they want to dictate to us, and we still got the right of freedom of speech. They send me message just all time and say, you don't have no rights, Alan Presley. You're breaking copyright laws. Let me instruct you. We are not breaking no copyright laws with nobody. We are licensed to do what we are doing. We are licensed to play gospel music, and I have permission from every one of my Groups to play this music, and we play royal, and we pay, well, and we pay royalties, and we pay royalties, and uh, we pay royalties every month on the music we playing. We are licensed. I know there's a lot of ski Indians out there. I call them Indians. They play gospel music, and they are not licensed. And maybe that's what Facebook raising cane over. I don't know. But I know one thing we license, and if you look on our, our video that comes up from YouTube where you see Linda in a picture and me in a picture, you look at the top, you'll see 365. That means that we are licensed, 
And that's what we're operating under is license 365. So we are licensed to play music. But Facebook won't answer you back. We've tried to email them many, many a times, and they will not answer you back. They won't say nothing to you. They just want all religious things off the, their system. But we're going to play till we get kicked off. And we instructing everybody we are. But that does not end us. We got backups that we get on the air anyway. Thanks to WOTG and thanks to Chuck Bryan. He works hard trying to build these things up. And he's working on something new. There's possibility going to take him a year to get everything worked out because it does take money to do this stuff, folks. It takes me and Linda money to do it. We appreciate your help and your support. We really do. We're going to get on with the program. And I done forgot who we got coming up to sing now. This is a restored quartet. We appreciate them. They've been on our program one time, and they listen a lot of nights, and they are the great country of Oklahoma. Let's listen to the restored quartet. Here we go.
the saint of earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the road is called up, God be there. When the road is called up, God be there. When the road is called up, God be there. When the road is called up, yonder, I'll be there. On that bright and cloudless morning, when the dead in Christ shall rise. Glory of his resurrection share when his chosen ones shall gather to their home beyond the skies, and the roll is called up yonder. I'll be there when the roll is called up. From the dawn till setting sun, let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. Then when all of life is over and our work on earth is done, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder.
trouble sometimes are here. Feeling men's hearts with fear. Freedom we all hold dear. Now is at stake. Humbling your heart to God. Saints from the chastening rod. Seek the way pale from dry. Christ is our way. Troubles will soon be o'er, happy forevermore. When we meet on that shore, free from all care. Rising up in the sky, till this world goodbye. Home we then shall fly, glory to share.
we're glad to have our guest on the program here tonight, and we're going to put them on the air, and, and let's talk to them. And it's Murray Berg, and we, we've been a while since she's been on the program, and I'm sure she got some exciting news to tell us, so let's put her on. <phone rings> Who is it? Is this Murray Burke? Yeah, yeah. How are you? Hey, what have you been up to? It's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a very long time. Well, we've just been basically, uh, you know, just doing what we can to stay healthy. And um, so far, hey, the Lord's taking care of us. We ain't worried about nothing. We're just giving up everything to the Lord, me and David. Right, David? Nope. David, David did get the virus. Did you get the virus? Yes. And how was it? How did you take it? Very easy. He took it easy. The Lord helped him. Yeah, great. Hey, we I got We didn't let the devil, you know, the fear strike us and get into us. And, um, you know, we've had several people at our church that did get it, and some were in the hospital, but they were not on a ventilator. And the Lord has taken care of them, and each of them have been able to come home. And um, most of them that got real sick were the ones that ended up getting the pneumonia. We were able to keep David from getting the pneumonia because we have a breathing spirometer that I made him breathe in at least 20 times a day. So he was strengthening his lungs constantly, and it just, I think that that, along with the steroids and, and stuff and the prayers that were going up for him, just kept him from getting a real bad case of it. Well, uh, Mary, we had four family members that had it, and the first one that got it, uh, she was in the hospital with double pneumonia, but she was young, and she got over it pretty good, but we had three more to get it after that. So we haven't, they haven't been to our house as a group. Uh, we missed Thanksgiving. We missed Christmas. Uh, we didn't get together. You know, they've been over here, you know, just one or two at a time, but not yeah. everybody at once. And, and Murray, how long you been singing now? I've been singing my whole life, Alan. I'm 43 years old. Well, no, I'm 42. <laughs> you just 43. I'm 42. I thought you was 143. 42. I am. I'm 42. <laughs> hey, Murray, you know I got to pick on you to have some fun. Hey, I got some good news. I found out today that I am nominated in the top 10 for the Female Horizon Soloist. So if you are on the Christian Voice magazine.com you can go on there and just you'll see my name in the top 10 of horizon it says horizon female oh that's great man yeah i, I was nominated top 10 last year too i've never gotten you know the actual number one but hey it's just a privilege to be in the top 10 or on anything you know so i'm just excited about it and um Anybody that wants to vote, hey, there's so many different categories. We've got um, lots of different categories with lots of different people in here. I haven't even look at, looked at them all yet or voted yet. So, but all you do is go to ChristianVoiceMagazine.com and you will click on. Um, let's see here. Well, that's great. Hey, what yeah. that day, what that day, what all that David been doing? What you been doing, David? Just tell him what you've been doing. Exercise, working out. He's been exercising and working out as much as possible. Now, what did he, what did he say now? He's been working out. Say it again. Exercising, working out. Exercising and working out. Oh. Except for his speech, he's got to really start to articulate his his um wow. syllable stuff. He struggles with that because he he just talks real fast like I do. We're from Michigan, so we're we're in the South, but we still have a Northern accent. David can't slow down, right, Dave? Oh. <laughs> well, Mary, when is your birthday? I, June 15th. Oh, okay. In 1979 or 78? 78. Okay. Wow. You're, you're a, bit, a little bit older than our youngest daughter. Okay. Hey, and, uh, what the, what's your top song right now, you think? Right now I'm doing I'm My Father's Daughter, and um, uh, that's the one that I was going to, you know, that's got, that's got my testimony on it more so than David's. Um, this song.
song here, I'm My Father's Daughter, is my current single. And um, the reason I chose this song, I did not write it, but the reason I chose it is because during the time that I um, picked it and I decided that it was a good song for me, for my album, I was going through a time in my life where I was trying to find out my biological, because my mom, she never knew my birth dad. She had struggled in life because of all of the things that she went through as a child, so she ended up um, just getting in the back of a truck with somebody, didn't even have a name, and she did this sometimes. She was, a, you know, very a very sick individual back in her early 20s and just really, really not doing the right things, and so she ended up getting pregnant, and so when I was 12, she told me that she didn't know who my dad was, and I've always wanted to know, and so... But what happened to me about four years ago, I found out through Ancestry DNA, and my birth dad was a very sick individual. My stepdad had a few things that, you know, he went through. My mom was having, it was, it was a sick individual. But the thing about it is, is I looked at the whole thing, and the Lord spoke to my heart. He says, Mary, I took all these broken people, but I still was able to make you for such a time as this. And that song spoke to my heart. I'm my father's daughter, my heavenly father's daughter. It doesn't matter who my earthly father is. It doesn't matter who my earthly mother. Yes, I love my earthly father. My earth, my birth dad ended up dying, so I've never met him. And uh, But I, I did find out a name, and I found out a face. I got to see pictures and everything because of ancestry DNA. But the whole point of it is, is that I found out just how much the father up above loves me. Because for me to find a name when my mom didn't even know the name, you know, that was a miracle. And that shows me that God knows our heart's desire. He knows what we need before we ask. And he knew that that would just fulfill something in me, just to know and to know that he's my father. He's the one that formed me in my mother's womb. He's the one that created me out of the DNA from both parents, you know. And I don't know, that song, every time I sing it, it just reminds me, who my father is up above, and I just love it. Amen. We, we're going to listen to that. That's going to be a song we listen to in a little bit. But anyway, Murray, uh, yeah. uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to say this before I forget it. If I don't, I'll forget it. Uh, you know you've been heard on television tonight, too. Oh, good. And you're not oh, only good. on Facebook, and it all goes over on YouTube in a little bit. But you're right now being heard live on the WOTG TV network, and that is RoQ. It's on RoQ, and we've been at, we had somebody in another country overnight listening on the TV, and they were shooting Linda messages over Messenger and telling us everything that was going on on the TV. Wow, that's so, amazing. So you've been heard around the country on television too tonight, and we we are operating on TV just about. We on TV probably been six or seven months. We on our every night. Well, God is good. That's a testimony. That is a testimony and a half. And, you know, and, God's and, able to. He's and, able to make a way. You know, for everybody and for the whole world to hear the good news, the gospel. Amen. Hey, I, I seen on Facebook where you uh, got interviewed by a recording company. You want to talk, tell us about that? Yeah, I went to um, Chapel Valley, and I did my video for I'm My Father's Daughter, and so he did an interview on me for that, and also about, um, in, the, in the interview, it also talks about, um, you know, the upcoming album, the fact that I'm going to be doing, you know, some stuff with them here in the future. Not really sure on the dates on that yet, because we haven't really put a date out there because of the virus and stuff, but um, we did the video, and you can find the video on the Chapel Valley YouTube so far, it's on there. It will be on mine soon, but it's on there. And then um, you can find the interview on my Mary Burke um, Ministries on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed, I am going to start doing more uploads on Mary Burke Ministries' YouTube channel. We just got fast internet today. We finally have Xfinity. We've just been on slow internet for the past 12 years. And we finally have gotten to the point where we can actually... We can actually uh, upload videos. We can do things that we could never do before. And so I'm going to start doing more on that channel. But you can find all of that stuff, the interviews and stuff, and the videos 
on either Chapel Valley's YouTube or on Mary Burke Ministries' YouTube. Well, YouTube you, channel. Did you know uh, up there at the Chapel Valley that evidently you know Jack Allen, don't you? Yep, Jack Allen was the one. He's the one that I usually work with up there. And Chapel Valley is about, I'd say about an hour from my house. I mean, it's not too far. All I do is take back roads all the way, all the way till I get there. It's not that bad. I mean, it's, but it takes a good 45 minutes to an hour to get out that far. Yeah, Jack Allen's got his own group, too. Yes, he does. Messiah's Call. That's it. We got their song, but the, <laughs> our, our, our dear old friends out there don't like us to play them. Why? Well, they mute them. That's horrible. Yeah, it is horrible. And and uh, Murray, uh, uh, you got you got how many CDs you got out now? I have three, but only one is actually able to be purchased like um i think in itunes the other two i just sell on the side like so far i haven't really released them so in the future i might release the one the ones that i wrote but i really haven't focused on that i've just been focusing on the i talk to god i'm still not fully done with that one but this song here i my father's daughter might be the last one i release on that one and then i might start working on some other ones before i start you know making the new one well, you got you got to do you got to tell them something there. You know, uh, every time somebody fails to do this, I start getting religious. You ever get religion? I mean, I do. I get excited. I get religion. And every time somebody forgets to to do this, it's to me it's the same thing. It's forgetting to take an offering for the preacher or the pastor or the singers. They forget to take an offering. And Murray, you need to tell these people. How much these CDs are cost for them to purchase one of them? That's right. Well, what we've done is um, usually we just do a we do a donation, but the donation we try to ask at least for ten dollars because of the fact that it costs you know for for um, for us to ship them out and everything. So we do a donation of ten dollars or more, and that seems to be good. I've received a donation from um, a couple of my friends here recently who did get one. And I'm so thankful that they did that. My friend Brenda Riggs, she gave me a $20 donation here about maybe not even a week ago. And then I had my friend Sandy Stephenson, she gave me a $10 donation. And so me and David, we 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 will allow anybody to send us a, a donation for our ministry for, you know, the CDs, for anything that we, you know, that we sell because what we do is we put it right back in the ministry. It goes towards whatever we're, you know, working on, like if it's a project or if just for gas, if we're traveling. Like even when we go to churches, we would just ask for a $10 donation or more when it comes to CDs. Now, when it comes to shirts or something like that, we might ask for, you know, 15 or more. It just depends on the item, but we usually do. 10 or more and that seems to work and people seem to like that because you know it's it's allowing them to get something and it's a lot it's, it's it's allowing them to get to know who we are and that's that's because we are non-profit and we don't you know we don't put an actual price we just ask for a certain amount and if they can't if they can only give us five dollars we will get them the cd that's how we are i don't you have some shirts too don't you I do. I have to order more, but I have some shirts that say "God is faithful every time." Well, if they look on the cameras, <laughs> they can see Linda's got one of them on. Oh yeah, those I... shirts right there. Yes, if you give us a donation for fifteen or more, you can get a shirt and a CD. I didn't think about it. I didn't think about it <laughs> when, when you was telling about the the uh, CDs. I thought, well, I need to go put that shirt on. Yeah, the shirt. And the back of it, you, you showed us, says every time. The front of it says, God is faithful, and then the back says every time. Hey, folks, she didn't have one to fit me because I busted out. <laughs> but the, but the, you need to order her a shirt. You need to order her a, a CDs. And, you know, she asked for a, a donation, you know. and But you need to give her a good donation to help her out because it costs a lot of money. To record these CDs, you know I got a good friend. He helps me out on this program a lot. It's Squire Parsons, and Brother Squire, he's got some CDs like that for sale. He got some soundtracks and a bunch of DVDs or whatever you know. 
But he, he told the people, he said, if you just don't have the money, I'll give it to you. But folks, because somebody asks for just a donation or something, you don't need to take advantage of them and say, I get it for nearly nothing. You don't need to do them that way. It costs us money, money to record a CD. It costs us postage, and it, it takes money to package it up and send it safely to the people. So we, we, we need to help them out. We need to help Murray out. She got CDs. She It thrilled her. She would thrill her to hear from you and get one of her CDs. And I'm gonna get, we're going to play some songs in a little bit and give you some samples of her CDs. And Murray, we, we love you from all of her heart. Oh, we love you too. And we know that. And and Murray, tell me a little bit more about these shirts. How much these shirts cost them to get one? Well, if they give us a donation for $10, they can have a shirt. If they do 15 they can get a shirt and a CD or more. 10, 10 or more for the shirt or the CD. If they do 15 donation, they can get both. Or if they can go higher than 15 20 whatever. You know, we'll give them CD and both. But if they want the shirt and CD both, they have to do at least 15 But if they want just the CD or just the shirt, at least 10 And if you want to give more and you feel led, hey, that is always going towards a good cause, and we appreciate it. I got a question. Can't you find one to fit me somewhere? Yeah, yeah, I can get with uh, where I order them from, and I can get one. What size do you think you'd wear? Uh, the largest size. What's the largest size you can get? I have to find that out. I don't know. It might be a 2X. <laughs> well, now you had, uh, you had two, I think you had a 2X, but that won't fit him. It'll have to be either a 3X or 4X. Probably needs to be a 4X, because uh, uh, last time he went to the doctor, he had gained a, a few pounds, so... Uh, probably I'll four. ask. I'll have to ask the one that I order them from if they could do that size. Yeah, uh, four. Uh, see if you can get a four X. And, and yeah. Mur Murray, uh, uh, what's the new CD you got out? Right now we have the I Talk to God, the one, the one that has the song I'm My Father's Daughter. It also has the song I Talk to God, and um, I Talk to God ended up hitting number one. That's the only song that I've had that's hit number one on uh, Christian Christian Country for SGN Scoop site. Yeah, Christian Country. And so that was that was a big deal for me because I've never had nothing to hit it. And I don't do it for numbers. But if it hits number one, then it's doing, you know, it's, do, it's touching people's lives. And so to me, that is a blessing. And that is worth it all. And Murray, I know the virus is going on and uh, a lot of things like that. I, I, I'm not saying this to be smart or nothing like that, but I asked a medical man that was here. You know, we've had some nurses come here and see me and Linda Bowles, and and we dismissed from that now. But when I was here about a couple of weeks ago, or a week and a half ago, something like that, and I asked him, he's pretty sharp, he's high up in the medical field. And I asked him, I said, I got a question to ask you. And he said, and he said, what question? I said, okay, I want to ask you a question. What happened to the flu this year? And yeah. he come back and he said, looked at me right funny. And he said, you know what? You got a good question right there. What's happened to right. the flu? And, and uh, you know, I know I'm, what I'm fixing to ask you. I know this thing they call the virus is going around. It's either bad, there's something they got a name for it, or they, they could have a name for the bad flu, too. But anyway, I'm gonna, that's besides the point. Are you uh, taking appointments right now? Are you going to places for you to come and sing? Yeah, I just, just recently started doing that here. Um... We are going to be, in fact, not this week coming, but the following week, 
We are leaving for Alabama, and we're going to be at the um, Oxford Civic Center at the Southern Gospel Music Weekend. And we are going to be heading in on the, let's see, it's going to be the Thursday. And I'll be singing, let me see if I can pull it up here. Okay. And I'll be singing on the Friday morning, Saturday morning, Saturday night. And it will be, um, I think it's the 17th. I can't remember. Let me see if I can... Boy, that's great. Okay, so the 18th is when we leave out, and then, so we'll be in Oxford, Alabama, the 18th, 19th, and 20th, and I'll be singing those three days, actually just the 19th and 20th I'll be singing, and then the next week will be at Creekside, and they're doing a Creekside revival this year. So the Oxford, Alabama is a completely free event for anybody, I guess, in the public. Creekside is going to be a charge, um... I can find out that, but it's going to be the um, the 24th through the 27th, I believe, and I'll be singing on those days as well. And then in April, I'm going to be going to um, a friend. Her name is Kim. Let's see where we're going. So I just recently started accepting, you know, more more things, and still I'm just part time. I've never been a full time into it, um, just because. At this point, with what you know, with taking care of David, my husband, and our kids are getting bigger, my goal is to be full time eventually. But so far, I'm just a part timer where I just get to go on the weekends, you know, like mostly maybe twice a month. You know, maybe if I go four times, it's still considered part time. But I'll be going in April to a church here in Tennessee. Um, I haven't put them on my website yet, all these dates, but I do have them in Facebook here if I can find them. Let's see. And then here in August, I'll be going to um, a homecoming. So, so far, I'm starting to pick up a few dates here, and then our church... Our home church is still closed, so I haven't been able to go to ours. I've had to just go to um, a church down the road, and it's called, um, oh, what's it called? Church of God, well, Clinton Church of God of Prophecy. Okay. Can you still hear me? I'm trying to find all this stuff on my phone here. Yeah, we still hear you. Yeah, I'm just trying to find the actual locations to these places, other than Alabama and Creekside is in Pigeon Forge. That, those two I do know. Are you guys going to Creekside this year? Uh, we don't know. Uh, since we've been sick, and uh, uh, I, I just don't know right now. Uh, well, hi, Paula. We haven't been traveling, uh, you know, since, well, actually, we hadn't really been nowhere since uh, uh, about November. Uh, we haven't even been to our kid's house or about the only place we go is the doctor's office and I go to Walmart to get groceries and angles and that's about it. Yeah, we haven't, honestly, uh, we haven't really been doing a lot and um, for us it's not a huge deal because we're just part-time anyways and we don't usually go more than two to three times a month anyways. But, I mean, it's not our income. But the thing is, is um, there for a while, I just wasn't like there was several times that someone, several churches had canceled or I'd had canceled, you know, especially when David did get the virus. But now um, we're starting to, you know, pick up a little bit and get back into the swing of things. And um, yeah, I can't find all this stuff. It's I know I've got two things scheduled this month, and then we've got one next month, and then one in August. And then um, as far as anything else goes, everything is open. We don't really have anything else. We're just doing local stuff, and that's it. And if something else comes up, we will accept it, you know, because right now we feel like that we could start to branch out and start accepting things, you know. Um, why don't you tell people how they can get a hold of you if they want to make an appointment to get you to come? Well, they could um, do a few different things. They could get on Messenger. They could just message me on my Facebook. Or they could go on my like page, and they could message me that way in the inbox. They could also just call my phone number. Okay. um, I could put that down here. Let me see. And uh, they can go to my website, maryburkeonline.com. And then they'll find my number and everything. I'll put that on here also. 
or they can get a hold of me and Linda. We know how to find you. Yeah, and, that's right. Uh, give it, give me two more songs that we're going to listen to you sing some tonight. Give me at least two more songs that we can play. Okay, uh, let's see. you got I'm My Father's Daughter. You can play I Talk to God. And we got that, but um, give me two more. Testimony without a test. Oh, okay. We got and that. And then um, we could do Every Time. Okay. And I'll we, just do we, all of them that are uh, the ones that I've released already on the I Talk to God album. Okay, we want you to lead us in prayer. Then after that, we're going to uh, let you go. we got to have a, a commercial break here in a few li little bit. Then we're going to listen to your songs. And Mary, uh, uh, my first cousin, Carolyn Gorman, she's in the hospital up there at uh, Pigeon Forge LeConte Hospital. Yeah. And, uh, they, they found that she's got mold on her lungs. Oh, my goodness. And uh, so, anyway, uh, I guess you know Patricia Coker. That, yeah. That is her mother. So, she needs prayer. She's not doing good at all. Oh, my goodness. And there's many out there that needs her prayer, but we want you to lead us in prayer. Then we got to take that commercial break. Then we're going to listen to you sing some. Okay, well, I appreciate you. Me and David appreciate you, right, David? Yes, you do. And yeah, we love them, right? Hello, David. And uh -oh. then when you can, y'all come back down and be live on the program again. Hey, uh, yeah. Hey, guys. He said we will, and he loves you guys. Uh, we love you all, too. But we want you to have prayer. Then we're going to have a commercial break. Then we're going to get right back to playing your songs. Okay. Well, we'll bow our heads and dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for allowing us to come on Alan Presley Promotions once again, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be able to, you know, share, Father God, what you've done for us and to share, Lord, just how much and how you've been faithful to us in our lives. And Lord, Father, if someone's on here, God, that, that just doesn't know you, Father God, we pray, God, that what we've said may have touched them, Lord, that, Lord, that they would know, God, that, that they, they may not be a daughter, but they're your son. They could be your son. Lord God, if they will just turn from whatever they're doing in life that may not be the right thing, Lord, and they will turn to you, your name is Jesus, Father God, in Jesus' name, and say, Father God, we, we commit our life to you and surrender their whole life, God. It, it's not just a statement of, of, of praying, Lord, but to actually have a heart change, Lord, and for their heart to completely surrender their life to you and your will, God, that they could be able to accept you into their hearts, Lord. And Lord, for those that are sick, God, and afflicted, Lord, either with the virus, with with um, Patricia Sue Coker's mother, God, that has the, the mold in her lungs, those, God, that are sick in, in body in any way, shape, or form, Lord, or even sick in the mind, God, whatever sickness that they have, Lord, God, we ask right now that you would just touch them, God. Lord, we know that you are a way maker, God. You've made a way in our life, God. There were days, God, that we, uh, me and David didn't know, Father God, how things were going to, you know, um, come out, Lord, in the end. And we still don't know on things. But, God, we are putting our faith and trust in you, knowing that, God, in our broken stages of our life, God, you will put the pieces back together. You are the one, God, that we turn to, Lord, when everything else fails. And you are enough. If we have nothing else, and if we have nobody else, Lord, but if we have you, you are all we need. You will sustain us. You will keep us, Lord Jesus. When everything in this life crumbles, you are the one that we need, Father, above all else. Long as we have King Jesus, we don't need anything else. We don't need nobody else, Lord. So, Lord, we surrender our lives to you today. All of the people on this program, Lord God, will meet them, Lord, wherever they are, God. If they don't know you and they surrender to you, Lord, they can have that relationship, Lord, that me and David have, and that Alan and Linda have, Lord, and the relationship that you will teach them and you will guide them throughout their life, Lord. So, Lord, right now, meet these people, Lord, each and every one that are on this program, and make a way for them in their life, Lord, in their healings, in their finances, Lord. They need a breakthrough tonight, Father God, for, Lord, they can't do it on their own, Lord, but, Lord, if they will call upon you and say, Jesus, Jesus, I surrender. Jesus, I give this to you, Lord. 
we are calling upon you, Lord, that you would meet them right where they're at, God. And we thank you for Sister um, Sister Linda and Brother Alan, Lord, tonight for doing this, Lord. And, Lord, sometimes we aren't able to get on, but, Lord, they are so faithful, God. They are faithful, Lord. And we know that you have seen, Father God, what they have done, Lord, for the kingdom. And, Lord Jesus, we just thank you for them. And we ask that you would just bless, Lord, enlarge them, God, their territory, and bless them indeed, Father. And, Lord, we just thank you and praise you, and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Murray and David, and we're going to get off here, and we're going to be listening to you sing some, okay? Oh, thank you. We love you both. Love you, too. You and David Bye. both. Bye-bye, everybody. Okay, bye-bye. Here we go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This one I see. You're listening to the very best of Southern Gospel music right here on WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener-funded ministry. We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Come and join with us. That I'm a part of My brain's in constant motion Questions bigger than the ocean And when that gets started I'll stop right where I stand I watch the water rush for the sand I remind myself and set the whole thing turning Oh, yeah. 
Testify to the goodness of the Lord. 
my fears to flight There's victory in the work of your hands You were faithful when I feel the doubt I can hear you in the silent sounds There's a stream of living water In my dry and barren land my crowns at your feet. Hallelujah, how I praise you when I'm down upon my knees. Hallelujah, cause you saved me from the grip of all my enemies. You're the source of life, the truth I'll always find. You're the source of life, the truth I'll always find. God, you're faithful every time. You are faithful, you are faithful, you are faithful every time. And folks, our guest will be Friday night. Now, it's popcorn night. We have popcorn night. And we will have a guest on the program that night. Tonight we have popcorn, and uh, we were red on Friday night. We're going to have Rita Broyles from North Carolina, and, and she's new to her program. She's new, and she's going to be our guest this coming uh, uh, Friday night. Now let's take a listen to Rita as she sings this song. And don't forget, we will be having a poster on Facebook soon. And help us share that. Here we go with Rita singing this great song. Soldiers nailed the tree to Jesus. After he had been accused Blaming him for all the things that They knew he did not do He drove that rugged cross to A place on Calvary's hill where Jesus shed his blood to fulfill his Father's will. It's all about the blood. Don't you know it set you free? Jesus gave his life on Calvary. He did it all for you and me. His blood was all we needed for us to be 
walk by the tomb of Buddha, I looked inside and saw his bones traveled on to see Muhammad still wrapped up in his grave clothes then I journeyed to the garden where old Joseph left him lay the precious lamb God's holy begotten he was no longer His nail-scarred hands reach out to help you, to pull you safe from death to life. My friend, I too have stood where you stand, and could I trust in things unseen? But just one step in his direction, then in love he ran to me. If you knew him like I know him, you would know that he's alive.
against the wall and your mountain seems so tall and you realize that life's not always fair you can run away and hide let the old man decide or you can change your circumstances with a prayer Everything falls apart. Praise his name when you have a broken heart. Just raise your hands and say, Lord, you're all I need. You're everything to me. And he'll take the pain away. When it seems you're all alone Praise His name When you feel you can't go on Just raise your hands and say Greater is He That is within me And you can praise the hurt away Folks, we got a legend in Southern Gospel Music that's going to be on our program this Monday night, and that's Ricky Luster, formerly of Charles Johnson and Revivors. Let's take a listen. Who takes good care of me? I've got a good shepherd who takes good care. 
Listening to the very best of Southern Gospel music right here on WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener funded ministry. We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube Monday through Sunday 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Come and join with us.
And, folks, we've had a good time in here on the program tonight with Murray Burke as our guest. And we tried to play a song of all of our guests that we got lined up for a few days yet. But we're glad to be here, and we appreciate you tuning us in night after night to play this great gospel music. And and don't forget us over on YouTube. We've probably got four or 500 programs on YouTube, folks. And all, all, all of our stuff is going over on YouTube, too. Here's Lady Presley to say her words for tonight. Okay, we've got uh, 11 minutes left, Alan. <clears throat> Thanks, everyone, for joining in tonight. And uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the songs tonight. I hope they were some blessing to you. So we're going to get on, Alan, with a uh, few more songs. And we got Deborah Bergeron yeah. coming up from Canada, and she's going to be singing this next song. Take a listen. Yeah. 
said this time you've done it Now you have gone to part How could the Lord receive you now You are ruined now and start But something deep inside of me Said child you're still my own And my love for you is still the same So child, just come back home He gave me more than I ever asked for More than I ever dreamed He gave me more than I could imagine When I came back home to him I asked him to forgive me He gave That make me as one of your servants But he made me a child of the king I thought about the years I'd wasted As I walked the homeward way And I rehearsed time and time All the words that I would say But I finally climbed that last long hill My father I did see Running with his arms open wide In love to welcome me And he gave me more than I ever asked for More than I ever dreamed He gave me more than I could imagine As one of your servants But he made me a child of the king All that I asked him to forgive me He gave me a robe and a ring I said make me as one of your servants But he made me a child From the peaceful shore I was very deeply Stained within Seeking to rise no more Oh, but then the master of the sea Heard my despairing cry Oh, and from the waters He lifted me now safe Love lifted me. 
Welcome to our Blackwood Homecoming. Family and friends are here to present to you many of the songs identified with the Blackwood Brothers Quartet in hopes it will bring back many fond memories. So sit back and enjoy the music our family has sung for over 60 years. You can work on the smiling day, helping someone go life's way, from the past. 